Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Lego The Hobbit Free Roam. And uh, we're going to actually roam around in Bree and pick up all the quests and collectibles. Well, actually not quite all of them. As you can see, we've got six out of seven labeled. I'll get to that here in a minute for the red bricks. We do find seven mithril bricks scattered around. We also picked up a couple dudes, uh, Barlaman Butterbar, as well as Bomber, Young Edition, and the Bree Peasant. So... Uh, we're going to start off here way over where we always start, and we're going to teleport over into Bree. Now, uh, I will make note real quick that there is a uh, Dwarven loot dispenser right behind where we started there, so make sure that you stock up on loot and make sure you have 100 or so of each. Um, in fact, uh, there is one coming up that requires 500 carats, so you might even grab that sooner than later. So here we are with our ca -ca -ca -ca! We're going to land in Bree. We're going to get to getting. And first things first, we're going to go ahead and target uh, this question mark here, which is fireplace replaced. I think that's what it said. Anyways, uh, we're going to head on in there anyways. And basically, dude needs some help building his chimney up. So we're going to help him out. And this will cost us a few items from our loot, but uh, we've got more than enough thanks to that dwarven loot dispenser back there in Erebor, right behind where we started. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and take this quick moment to remind you or uh, inform you of all of the quick links down below in the video description. These are actually uh, targeted for all of the different collectibles, so if you're looking for something specific, maybe you need the character or whatever it may be, a Mithril Brick, Red Brick, uh, go ahead and click those links and uh, follow along a little bit quicker. So uh, I will go ahead and note, too, and start addressing the Red Brick issue, as uh, you probably are wondering why we missed one. Well, we didn't really miss one. It comes down to the fact that once we got all the schematics, we tried to forge all of the items. Well, obviously, we didn't have all the Mithril bricks because they're scattered throughout the open world speaking of which we just grabbed one for building buddy's fireplace up and look at that nice fireplace and i even had some nice green and white wallpaper on top to make it look all oh, so nice all right we're gonna go ahead and target the next mithril brick and speed it up quite a bit because uh we did a little bit of uh screwing around here and realistically i probably should have edited this but i know a lot of you prefer to see what's going on and how i get there as opposed to just all about all of a sudden appearing on the map and although we do a little bit of that here and there i try to avoid it as much as possible back to the story regarding the uh schematics and the lack of mithril bricks that's actually what it came down to i, I forged a bunch of items thinking i was going to get them all Basically, I don't recommend doing that after getting the schematics. I recommend waiting, and uh, although it's uh, not very much fun traveling back and forth, the game has made it pretty easy, and with your faithful ca -ca, you can actually travel pretty fast. So, As you can see, we used the goblin to climb up that wall over on the other side of town and slid down the rope, switched to somebody small like the Hobbit, uh, and we uh, then made it through the Hobbit hole and jumped on the lever, which allows this little platform to drop down and gains us access to this big old ladder on the chimney and uh, all these studs as well as the old tightrope. Put on your tight pants and get going. Sir Snug Trouser, tight roping. All right. This would be uh, Sir, Sir, <laughs> I guess it would be Sir Lego Loss of Snug Trouser. But he's in Bree right now. All right, uh, this one was a little bit confusing for me. You're gonna probably gonna laugh at me, but uh, there was a little bit of delay when this character pops out. So, you know, and, and I never really finished my story about the uh, red red brick, but essentially I didn't have enough mithril bricks at the end. That that's the end of the story. So, uh, we actually tackle that in Weathertop, which is the next video, and uh, that will be available shortly if it's not already. And uh, I was talking about how Barlaman didn't show up right away. Well, I actually did a second take. I left the bar and came back once I finally found him. But uh, he is there. Just kind of hang out, and he will pop up eventually. Now, before leaving the bar, you're actually going to want to head to the back as well. And there's a dude, a little dwarf, hanging out in the corner. And he encourages us to uh, go recover a miner's hat. Well, guess what? If you played through our free play and followed along and grabbed all the treasures, you don't got to do nothing but stand here and look stupid. And that's just what I did as I put on the hat. And now he's all excited talking about his grandpa and all this awesomeness. But in the end, he gives us a mithril brick. So our work is done. And you're welcome, dwarf. All right. So 
you guys uh, haven't figured it out too, there are some of these quests that actually, once completed, open up another quest. So some characters that you do work for actually have more than one job, but you can't see job two or three until you complete one. So, and the same would apply for four. You can't get four until you beat one, two, and three. All right, speaking of which, here she is. Uh, you might remember we helped her with her pumpkin delivery in the last video. And here she is inside Bree asking us for help again. So that was a little bit of a coincidence. I didn't plan that like that. Um, but it worked out nicely. Proved my point. And uh, oh, to the yeah. If you haven't already, I highly suggest start using your mount, your warg, your f faithful steed, whatever you want to call it. And uh, select it by uh, hitting the character select button and then selecting the horse instead. And here we go. We found her cart and making our way back. Follow the yellow brick road. Wee! Look at that. I'm, I'm drifting. You didn't know I could drift this carrot cart, did you? Oh, yeah. All right. So make it all the way into town. Run over anybody in your way. And look at her. She gets all excited and hands us over another brick. So woohoo. Now I'm gaining all these bricks now, but I do have to forge an item or two along the way because, again, um, I forged items, and at some point it'll all catch up, and I'll have the item before, uh, you know, for the quest. But anyways. Okay, so let's see here. So now we're just going to follow the stud trail again. This one's actually right outside, and there are a couple that are right outside the walls. I still consider these Bree. They're all in the area of Bree. And I know some of you think that that's like freckles or something. That's an awful lot of freckles, and I've never seen anybody with, well, I shouldn't say anybody, but more often than not, you don't really have chin freckles. That looks like a 5 o'clock shadow. So I know somebody's probably going to stand up for her and say, no, it's not. But you know what? If she would just get herself a razor, it would. we wouldn't have this talk. Nobody would be disputing anything. So, oh, yeah, shave it off. All right, this one was almost confusing to me. As you can see, there, I was watching the compass down below trying to figure out exactly where I needed to go, and, and, and it seems to be moving. I mean, you can tell. It's definitely moving around. And it uh, turns out uh, the way to go is actually right inside the door here. Psych. No, it is. I'm just kidding. You go in here and check it out. There's all these little orcs flashing around and and it almost looks like they're partying but really they're actually uh i don't know they're in a big mosh pit literally <laughs> and uh take them out by just getting your cha on cha 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 bam look at that you see that big old body slam body slam body slam remember that from the old punch out or i guess was it punch out might not have been punch out and i think it was the arcade version of punch out not mike tyson's punch out one of you guys will remember though that's what you guys are here for to help remind me of all the things i forget all right, this is a little tricky, too. I will say you do not want to pull out your horsey and ride away into the night in this one because you will leave Buddy behind and you have to go back. I actually, truth be told, I had to go back. I made it all the way in there on my horse and then did not have him and realized I had to go back. So that was round two of going to pick him up. And it worked, though. So here we go. Oh, yeah. And uh, beard and all. Here we go. Those are some awful long... Uh, I'm assuming that's a female. I mean, uh, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Regardless, we've uh, reunited them. I wasn't paying attention to the story. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. And again, I can't hear what they're saying while I record this audio because it would just echo in the background. So, yeah, yeah. Although you should be able to hear it in the background of yours. I don't want you to have it echoing. All right, right back into this cave. Boy, this is a busy cave. I tell you what. Lots of things happening here. We're going to sneak right back in here and follow the old gold carrot that's pointing to the other side of the screen as I loot up a bunch of boxes. And we can see here there's a little sign that shows a pig eating those uh, green, I believe they're apples. So we're going to slide through the little hobbit hole on the far left side, which again, destroy the wood boxes if you're not seeing it. And then get up top and select Ori and fill that sack with some rocks. Drop some coal, which, uh, look at that, drops a pig for us. Wee, wee, wee. And uh, there are three pigs, and there are three kind of small little mini puzzles in here. So you just saw two of them be completed, and then uh, you just need to make your way to the oinker itself and uh, ride him to victory. Now you take him and uh, bring him on over into the, the pit there, the pond, uh, the, the, the pin, the pig pen. Da, 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 da. Third time was the charm for me, right? 
All right, so we've uh, gotten up top by planting, using Sam to plant the seed over there. And uh, now once we get up top, we're going to spin that crank, which provides us with another sock to fill with coal. And then uh, once you uh, fill it up, it'll provide the third pig. So second one was for uh, getting down below. And it drops it up top. And third one up there. So now you just got to ride them in, and that'll do it. So, And again, you do get rewarded another mithril brick. So woohoo, we're making uh, good progress on those. In fact, uh, what, there's only one left, but it happens to be the last item we get. So we'll come back to that later. And if that's all you're after, go ahead and use the quick link down below in the video description to skip all this other shenanigan stuff. All right, so here we are. We clearly need to head to a campfire because it's uh, it's lonely outside and dark. And uh, ooh, we got stuck there. Our horse is trying to go in that cave. He must he must smell something. All right, so uh, we're actually going to head all the way back, and we're not going to quite change the time of day just yet. We're going to head inside and around. We're following the yellow brick road here. This is actually going to take us to a red brick quest for the double loot, as you can see. Hopefully you brought some some money, because it's gonna cost you three quarters of a million studs. And boy, I can't wait till we get some more multipliers. In fact, the one that we're missing happens to be uh, the eight times multiplier down below in the bottom there, the last one. I'm I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, because we're not there yet. But I'm ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure that's what it is. So. All right, this one is gonna require the Mithril horseshoes. And uh, uh, that will cost you a few mithril bricks as well as some Lego loot, too. Uh, if you need any of that Lego loot, just a reminder, there's that dwarven loot dispenser in Erebor rather than going and farming, uh, you know, stuff around the area. And then uh, double loot will cost you 750000 so quite a few bricks. I, I didn't put the mithril brick requirement down on the side there. Uh, more like, I assume you probably have as many, if not more, mithril bricks as myself, if you are following along video for video. If you're not, you're probably not wanting a step-by-step uh, -step instruction and probably not counting. It's more of what you need and where to get it kind of a thing. So, again, if you're looking for a schematic uh, or a blacksmith design, whichever you prefer to call it, make sure you check out our blacksmith design video as well as uh, all of our free play because there's one in every level as well as 16 scattered through the free roam. We show you where they all are. All right, right behind where we were, we're going to go ahead and use Bilbo and the ring to get us to these other bricks. As you can see, I destroyed the bricks, and they allowed me to build up a little crank handle. Once I spun that crank handle, it actually opened up the door down below on this cliffside here. So uh, there she blows. It's nice and open for us, so we're going to tuck away and get inside there. One of these days, I can stop stud whoring it up there. I guess I wasn't even doing that. I was just smashing everything. Got to smash it all. Got to smash it all. All right, so here we go. We're going to get inside here, and we get uh, another chick who definitely could use a nice shaven. And she tells us that uh, she needs the mithril mushroom crown. I think it's a female. I, some of these characters are not uh, very gender specific, if you ask me. But that's all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure everybody. Uh, yeah. All right. The mithril mushroom crown is on. It would have been really cool if I would have had the proper character out. That would have rang off a trophy achievement for that as well. So we don't have them yet, though. Spoiler alert. All right, so once you uh, provide the Mithril Mushroom Crown, we're going to go ahead and pay the 50000 and get that red brick for the Super Slap, which I have not put to use yet. I'm not even sure what it is. I'm assuming it's for, uh, you know, keeping your pimp hand strong when you're working the Kona. Go out there and, you know, Super Slap. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. Uh, all right, next red brick quest is right around the corner. It's Trader's Treadmill. What? I don't know if that's a trader as in you betrayed me or if we're just making a trade. It looks like we're making a trade, so this will work out all right. He says something about pungent manner. Uh-oh, poo studs. We all remember what poo studs is, right? If you don't, check out our Lego Lord of the Rings poo stud video that uh, old HTG Reese busted out for us. So we, uh, we had what we needed here, and uh, we went ahead and provided it for him. And if you missed his little uh, comment down below, it was the Mithril Giddy Up Staff. So kind of a weird deal there. It's like a carrot on a pole. But uh, regardless, it gives us the Poo Studs, which uh, is only 25000 That's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. 
And if you got a multiplier on, you hop on your mount, which is right there. You can pull them up anywhere, and you can just spam that circle or B button, and it should just poop out studs left and right. All right, there's Bomber, Young Edition. And we're going to go ahead and pick him up because there's nothing better than a young dwarf. Well, I guess maybe there are a few things better than <laughs> But we'll leave it at that. And uh, inside, there's another character, the Bree Peasant. So uh, these are all kind of a domino effect, I believe. Uh, it's not really something that uh, you can just have access to. And I was kind of confused on where to go here because it's like guiding me over to this corner, but there's nothing here. But really, there is. There's a funny angle with the camera. And remember I was telling you at the beginning of the video, there is a spot coming up where you need 500 carats. Well, this is the one. So look at that. You need 500 sweet, nutritious carrots. I had traveled off to Erebor where we started there and uh, made it back, which is why there was the kind of that funky edit and it switched from Legolas to Gandalf. But once you provide the 500 carrots, Buddy jumps out and says, Hey, as if you haven't done enough for me already, I will join your awesome crew for another $35,000. That was an expensive dude, I'll tell you that. But he's on the crew. We no longer have to worry about him. His ugly mug is not on our map. And we're going to go ahead and target the next red brick, which happens to be regenerative hearts. And will cost you a gold 100,000. But before we do that, we're going to need to switch it uh, over to the nighttime. So we're going to speed it up, pull out some wieners, and uh, make time go by fast. And uh, move along. All right, so you can see we've got actually two different red brick quests available to us right now. One's kind of a ways away over in Bywater, and we're going to go ahead and head over there right now. So I sped that up pretty fast there, so we didn't have to ca -ca 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 too much. And, but uh, now, this is one of those ones, so you're wondering, why are we doing a Bywater one when this is the Bree video? Well, you had to do some things in Bree before this would open up, and there's going to be some domino effect situations like that, so... Um, she actually asks us for a, uh, a Mithril Stud Spade, and we're going to go ahead and provide that for her. Again, we uh, might have gone to Bree and forged that and made an edit there. Maybe not. But uh, Regenerative Hearts, 100000 is a pretty good price, considering uh, hearts are pretty important, right? All right, so rather than show us run around like a crazy wizard, we're going to go ahead and target the next brick, which happens to be red. And we're going to ride our faithful steed on and over the bridge and through the woods. To the red brick we go. Da, 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 da. Wait, it's not over there. It's back there. We already passed it. There we go. All right, a wish. I wish to catch a fish. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book, does it not? All right, so Mithril Fishing Pole is needed. Unfortunately, the treasures that we provided uh, through the story. So, whoa, what's that ghost of, the ghost of Bilbo there? Did you see that? That was a little weird. Go back and watch that. He, like, pops up, and it's, like, halfway transparent. Anyways, give her the, uh, you know, well, you've already given her the Mithril Stud Spade, so now we're going to go ahead and give her the Mithril Fishing Pool, and that allows us to get access to the Fast Build, which we're going to go ahead and turn that bad boy on right now, right? So we're getting uh, quite a few bricks. we got eight so far, and I believe we're going to have seven of those turned on. We don't really like that always loot sapphires. Uh, we got plenty of sapphires, and there's no place to sell them that I'm aware of, so... Uh, that being said, that's not a very handy one, unless you're on a quest that needs sapphires. So right across the way, here's this chick. Now watch this. This outfit must be a popular outfit. Keep your eyes peeled on the right on the other side of the gate there in the background. But uh, she happens to ask for a Mithril Megapult. Not really sure what it is. It looks like some sort of a slingshot. It says uh, fires boulders instead of pellets. So I get it. It's a mega fold. It's like a it's like a king size. Oh, there she is. Look at that outfit. What's going on there? I wonder. If, I wonder who wore it better. Who do you think wore it better? <laughs> what do you, you know? What, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, we got the Mithril mega fold for her, and we did have to go off and forge that right quick, which is where all of our Mithril bricks are disappearing to, and why we didn't have enough to go ahead and grab that last one. But uh, there she blows, a nice little uh, red brick for us, which is attract loot. So my first thought was, oh, sweet, it's going to attract my loot. Well, loot is not to be confused with studs. Let's remember, attract loot is going to pick up all of the wood and the sapphires and the gems and the food, the carrots and the fish and all that stuff. So although it's pretty cool because, you know, you can never have too much loot, especially if it's free, uh, it's not as handy as the attract studs would be. 
And I'm not talking like, you know, Chippendale studs. I'm talking like, you know, the real deal Lego. I have an addiction to stud studs. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so here comes Mithril Brick number seven, and this is actually going to be the last collectible for this video due to the fact that we did not have enough to pay for that last red brick that was triggered off in Bree. Uh, this one is actually one of the more difficult ones to complete. It's a mini game. It's, it's pretty simple, really. It's knowing the locations of the three hide and seekers. So, first off, we know there are three, and she tells you right there one's on bush, one's on tree, one's on roof. So right off the bat, we see this little spot on the tree that didn't I didn't remember being there. Turns out, yep, it's him. So pull out something to blast it, and he'll drop down and hit circle, and he'll follow you around. Now, mine kind of glitched out. The circle never goes away on him, and it looks as though he has something to say, but he truly doesn't. Now, to save you some time, over on your left in the corner right now is where one of the third kids, or the third kid ends up being. Uh, I didn't find him right away. I made it up onto the roof because I actually saw him out of the corner of my screen there. And, hey, once I'm up here, might as well go and collect these studs, right? We've been spending lots of money on all these red bricks. You can never have too much money until you've bought it all. Then it's way easy to have too much money. So I kind of cruise around. The last character is most certainly in a bush, but we basically saw every bush except for the one we needed. Giggity. And, uh, yeah, so uh, to save you some time here, we went and returned the two young lad and laddis. And, uh, and then we go ahead and we edit right there, and we go right on over to where we needed to go and grab the third and final kiddo. So once you get all three of them and return, that'll bring you the brick that you were working so hard to find. And, uh, and then that'll wrap up our video. Now, real quick intro slash outro to our next video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a handful of mithril bricks first through Weathertop, and then we're going to head back and grab the last red brick from Bree. So I've already went ahead and double-checked to make sure that all the footage is good and it's easy to follow, and guess what? I did a pretty decent job on the recording, so hopefully you guys will agree with me and find that as well. So I do kind of show you here as, you know, I go over here and I'm, like, looking at it and trying to evaluate this, and I actually even go to Bree and go to the blacksmith and see how much it is and what, what I need. But, hey, if you have the Mithril uh, Beanstalk, feel free to go ahead and complete this last red brick quest. Uh, that's what it's for, as you can see, Bilbo and the Beanstalk. So... We will return for that video. That is the number seven, the one that we did not get. Hopefully you guys will forgive me. I'm usually pretty good about this stuff, but it was an error I made early that I really couldn't go back and fix without doing a lot of stuff over. So, um, Anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego the Hobbit Free Roam Bree Quests and Collectibles. We knocked out, uh, what, seven, seven Mithril Bricks, six Red Bricks, and a couple of characters, Bomber, Bree, Pheasant, and the Barlamin Bar. Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We have a G Plus page if you're into that kind of stuff too, uh, as well as happythumbsgaming.com. We really appreciate all the support you guys give. I, I know that a lot of you guys go there every single day, and our numbers of views and, and unique users every day is increasing, and we really thank you for that. And, uh, you know, a lot of you are registering and, and, you know, all of that, too, on our site. We love it. You know, if you guys want to get active on those forums, feel free. We got stickers you can purchase. Or if you simply just want to comment on some videos or reviews along the way. However you want to interact with us is great with us. We love you. We love everything uh, you motivate us for. And, yeah, so I know that didn't make a lot of sense. It kind of got sappy there. Hopefully you had some Kleenex nearby to wipe them tears. <laughs> all right, well. As always, until next time.